104.5, the team, your home for New York sports. We are now joined by an Olympian. Now, see, this is always big for me because <laughs> I, I just, I always, like, I kind of, and this gets me in trouble with the rest of the guys. I rank you guys higher than, than Super Bowl rings when you bring your medals by. Uh, Carolyn Joyce with us, three-time Olympic swimmer, and you brought your, your Beijing 2008 silver? And Athens 2004. Wow. All up in here for you Wow, guys. that's it, heavy. <laughs> so Beijing put a ring of jade on the back of theirs. It makes it heavy but, like, fragile. You can see it's kind of cracked up in the top left corner. Somebody dropped it. <laughs> this is from you. This is somebody. <laughs> was it, I blame, was it you? I blame God. I blame God. <laughs> Women's 4x100 medley relay. That, that jade is very neat, though. Yeah. Like, like I, I will put, I'm going to put it down very gently. I'm going to put these on at 104.5. Uh, the team people this everyone to see Olympic medals. And then your Athens. Again, I mean, that's, that's phenomenal. How do you, like, how does life change for you? Because, like, so... Since 2008, can you just live normal now? Or, like, before that, is it, <laughs> like, is it you have to watch everything you eat? You're always training? Yeah, well, what actually, like? my last Olympics was London in 2012. So I've been retired for about five years now. And um, people are like, oh, man, do you miss swimming? And I'm like, no, I just miss the eating. <laughs> I just Wait, miss eating. How many calories are you taking? I know that's a, like, you never ask a woman that. <laughs> how, many, uh, how many calories are you taking in a day while you're training? Um, it really depends. You know, some days um, you can do a little bit better than others. And on a good day, maybe I could get like over 4,000. And then, you know, another day would be around 2,500. It just depends on your meals and, and how you can space it out throughout the day. But it's hard to overeat as a swimmer. I was like, Wait a minute. That's your overeating? <laughs> I'm leaving. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, that's, that's, that's insane. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to get under 4,000 myself. Just. <laughs> yeah. The swimming workouts are more intense than the running workouts, right? Like, do you talk smack to, like, your fellow Olympian <laughs> athletes? Like, you guys were running around? Come no. On. I mean, the thing, though, like, you don't see somebody that runs, like, the 100-yard dash. Like, 100, is it 100-meter 100 100 dash? Yep. You don't see them running, like, miles and miles a day. But, like, swimmers, like, I swim the shortest event in swimming, 50 free, one lap. And we would swim miles, miles every single day. No, all right. So, so Carolyn Joyce with us right now. We we just we just had this crazy Olympics where the water wasn't safe and everything. Now you swim in a pool, luckily, so you, you yeah. don't deal with as much. When you're watching that, when you're seeing that story go down, what are your thoughts? Like, how like do you, do you feel a little almost betrayed that you'd be put in a position where you might have to swim in bad water? It's a mixed bag. Um, I think it's as an athlete, like you are gonna do whatever you have to do. Whatever the conditions are, you'll make do with it. And I'm friends with some of the open water swimmers that were heading into Rio, and I was like, hey, are you guys concerned? And they're like, no, we're not concerned. It'll be fine. And the other thing, I mean, no offense, like I feel like the media kind of tries to grab a hold of something and, you know, sensationalize it. And maybe the, the water was a little bit of that. Zika virus is another part of that. But, um, you know, it ended up being fine. It was it was a great environment for the athletes to be in. And I feel like Rio did a good job. Now, the amazing part about it is that you have some connections here to upstate New York, Ayo. Albany and Rochester. So <laughs> first, that they may not know, what is your connection to Saratoga? Okay, so I started swimming when I was five in Saratoga at the YMCA, Saratoga Sing Race. Um, I wanted to be a gymnast. My brothers wanted to be on the swim team, so obviously I joined the swim team. We compromised. <laughs> um, but I'm six feet tall, so, like, gymnastics never would have worked out. Um, but, yeah, that was my that was my start, the Saratoga Stingrays, and then I swam for the Albany Starfish for a little bit, too, and then moved over to Rochester. Now, Rochester, it's got to be easy to get those calories. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. See, I actually was not a garbage plate connoisseur, but my brother was. And he would bring them home, and it would be, like, meat and macaroni and, like, some kind of slaw and, like, some saucy stuff and just like it really lives up to its name <laughs> absolutely and, and, and i love every minute of it yeah <laughs> uh, here i'm here i'm going isn't the water in rio bad but i'm, I'm, I'm a, a garbage just, plate. <laughs> a garbage plate <laughs> we gotta stop every year we go see the buffalo bills and we training do. camp in rochester that's tradition. our stop right before we get it done it's Tra a, tradition no she did something that i've been trying to get you to let me do at the track before we leave all the time you know on fridays when you have like the winning bats or the bets just like floating around a little bit on the track i want to pick them up and try did she not. used to. Yes, yeah, she did. You found one. Oh my gosh! When we were kids, my brothers and I would go to the track in Saratoga, and I would just collect all the fallen tickets, like wipe the dirt off them, feed them through the machine, and um, if we could get like a dollar, two dollars is like the big jackpot. But that was like <laughs> the highlight. <laughs> what was it? Did you get to? Two dollars a couple times, like that a was couple big... times, I did win the big jackpot and get two dollars. I mean, I was like seven, eight years old at the time. Oh, so no, that's a lot of money. Don't say your age, because what I was going to do is going to do it this year day. and say I'm training to be an Olympian, Levac. <laughs> right. This is why I'm picking these up. Soon yeah. enough, I'll be in the Olympics. I'll just have you know that when you look up Carolyn Joyce, you see three-time Olympic swimmer, mm -hmm. eighteen-time collegiate uh, NCAA titles. You don't see. 
picked up dirty ticket <laughs> at the track. It's not, it's not listed of as training. one of our achievements. Secret training. Like, yeah, <laughs> touch the wall with, with Missy Franklin, blah, blah, blah. Not, not got $2 at the track. I'll have time. Ivan add that later yeah. on. Don't worry. <laughs> so, so what's going on with LeadSportsSummit.com? Yes, yeah, so I founded the Lead Sports Summit last year, and it's for teenage girls swimmers. It's a four-day event. Um, we hosted our first one in Austin, Texas last year, and then this year we'll be in Atlanta, Georgia. And basically we bring in 100 teenage girls between the ages of 13 and 18, and then Olympic champions like Missy Franklin, Elizabeth Beisel, um, nutritionists, confidence coaches, and it's just an, a kick-ass summit for girls. And um, we, it's like, kind of intimate we get q a and it's like you got questions we got answers right so i think you said confident confidence coaches. yes because well, i mean i'm a big guy i i'm not i'm not rocking the speedo anytime soon <laughs> but like you that's need to come and, and talk to our confidence coach she'll get you in a speedo in no time and then <laughs> regret it forever <laughs> <laughs> but like seriously like you know obviously you're beautiful and you you've trained and, and everything like that but it's still like there's no imagination left after you after you're in the pool like is yeah. that is that tough like, oh my gosh when you're like 13 14 you know your body's changing you're in a bathing suit every day and majority of swim coaches are middle-aged men and they don't really know what to tell you they don't know how to handle it and so if you can come to lead sports summit you can learn about you know what's going on you can learn about the best choices that you can make for nutrition you know for your body for your mind all of that stuff um, it's it's really really cool it's like a once in a lifetime opportunity for girls and i wish i had this to go to when i was a, a young teenage girl leadsportsummit.com get all the details carolyn joyce um know that when I'm at the track this summer, I'll be thinking of you while he's on Please all do. fours picking up Please tickets. Do. Yeah, come but, visit uh, us. I feel like yeah. I need to get a cut of this, whatever the right. whatever you well, get. Yeah, <laughs> she gets fifty cents for each two dollars. Yeah, okay, that's fine. I'll mail the nickels to you. Thank <laughs> you. If you had seen the way he was at the track this year, it's the only chance. He's <laughs> to do it. Yeah, best uh, best of luck and, and continued success. Thanks for bringing the medals. Those are really really cool. Yeah, my pleasure. Thanks, guys.